Hi everyone, uh, my name is Alan and this is your Tarot Jijing for Leos for September. First of all, I would like to say everyone thank you for watching um, and I also um, hope that everybody survived the August that wasn't um, very easy for many zodiacs, for many for many people, it was very difficult months. I know on my own experience. Um, but we survived, we went through it. Now the planets a uh, little bit ease up on us. So let's hope for the best. And um, also a little tip before we're gonna start that from 10 of September till 2nd of October we're gonna have a retro Mercury. So it's not advisable to start or begin something completely new, new projects, new I don't know, new new business, uh, anything new. This is not a, the best uh, time because it might go very slowly. Um, also, it's not good to buy or invest a lot of money in the new projects uh, and buy new big appliances for the house or car or house itself. If you must or you have to buy, of course, do it, but um, keep the receipt because you might be disappointed, uh, unhappy with it, or um, it will stop working. So it's best um, to have some some security. Uh, and But you can use this time to go back to some and finish something that needs to be finished. So it's good to revisit for end result. So Leos, let's begin with uh, Tarot Rider white cards for September. Let's see what the universe um, prepared for us. I hope you all have a um, good birthdays. And let's see, first card for Leos. Knight of Pentacles. It's a good beginning. Uh, this card means mm, that you uh, have some idea, maybe a business idea, uh, maybe business strategy or something uh, on your mind. You're going to be very focused on it. Uh, but this card say don't rush into things. Take it slow, steady and slow. Um, be patient and don't risk. This is not card for risk. Uh, this card saying that be practical. Uh, we have saying the slower you go, the further you get. So this card is about that. Um, take this uh, focus on it mm. uh, keep it in your mind but uh, take it slow uh, one more card and we have a high rank a death uh, I know it sounds scary, but this is not a physical death. This is a um, card of personal transformation. Uh, this is card will say that some big changes coming. Um, end of some end of something. Um, end of something in your life that wasn't working anymore. Maybe you change your approach to life. Maybe you change your um, how you think about something. Um, but this is card of, like I said, end of something. Um, this card say about some 
conservatism you don't really want to oh you're not gonna go willingly for these changes because of fear so we'll see what is all about but transformation is good transformation means that we are growing something is not working anymore so we're evolving Mm, uh, is no need to drag um, old baggage behind you. <clears throat> One more card. It's five of wands. Five of wands uh, would say that you might have some dispute with uh, colleagues, with people with your loved ones, maybe with your um, people that surround you, basically, might have some uh, conflict, maybe with some authorities, uh, or if you're a game player in, in any way, so you might be some dispute or conflict uh, over there. Uh, also, these cards say that you might have obstacles um, ahead mm. and maybe have some health issues. Mm. This is card of high temperature, maybe. So if you um, somewhere on the sun, be careful of heat strokes. Uh, but also, um, this card would say that um, you might have um, some competition um, in your area, if in your business, healthy competition. But this card will say that you will win. It's not going to be easy, but you will win. And next deck we're going to use uh, the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, three cards from here. Or maybe you will uh, decide to... You will change, like I say, your change of life. And not everybody going to be willing to ex uh, accept that. And you're going to have to uh, fight for your opinion. Mm. To say that you have right to uh, to see things differently and why. And here we are, we having a Queen of Wands. A Queen of Wands, it could be even you, yourself, or a woman in your life that and going to be having some sort of an in impact in September. Maybe it's some um, uh, a friend or your boss or some kind of a professional person. We'll see. And we have <clears throat> two of pentacles. Yes, I would say that could be you. This woman could be you. Uh, because and two of pentacles will say to us that yes, you're going to have um, money-wise. You're going to be okay. But you're going to have to learn to balance. You're going to have a healthy balance money-wise. So you're going to need to juggle a bit. Uh, prioritize a bit so you are in control so I would say keep an eye on, on your finances in September and what else? Three of Pentacles Uh, Three of Pentacles uh, saying that yes, you should be money wise, you should be fine, 
you will manage to balance it and Three <clears throat> uh, of Pentacles say you're going to be very focused and um, hard working amongst other people so collective uh, work um, is most likely together and uh, this card would say that if you are looking for work it's most likely that you're gonna get it or you might get a higher qualification um, so you're gonna be step up maybe at your workplace so that card is very good for work <clears throat> and next deck we're gonna use the wheel of the year tarot uh, three cards from here and we having uh, two of cups that is a very uh, nice card two of cups will say to us that you're gonna uh, if you're already in a relationship if you're already a couple uh, you're gonna feel very loved up uh, you're gonna be second, uh, like on a second honeymoon here. Uh, this is card of partnership. Uh, this is card of maybe you're gonna have um, a romantic date. You're gonna spend some time together. Uh, also, this card. Um, but if you if you're a single person, that is most likely that you. Uh, meet a partner in your life and uh, also this card is very good for business partnership uh, so if you looking for partner or about to sign a contract with someone uh, uh, you can be sure that it's going to be working out very well for you and you can trust that person <coughs> um, one more card Ten of Wands. Uh, Ten of Wands will say to us that uh, it's end of the cycle. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the same like, like I said, like like a death. <coughs> Uh, Ten of Wands will tell us uh, also that uh, you put too much on your shoulders. <clears throat> it's okay to to spread this load. You put it this heavy load on yourself, and only you can um, share it, ask for help, and unload yourself. So here we see two people and they about to climb high hill uh, one person for one person that would be impossible so <clears throat> this card is saying to us that you must um, spread that load otherwise um, you might not able to carry it so it's much too much to carry for you so Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Uh, it's okay to spread your um, heavy load, your duties. Um, so yes, don't don't be ashamed or afraid to ask for that help. Also, this card will say if you don't, you might have problems with your with your back. <clears throat> okay, one more. Uh, nine of wands. And again, we're having wands. Yeah, you're going to be quite active in... Um, you're going to be quite active during September. 
but this is uh, this is the result the result and end of the cycle uh, two cards one after another so this uh, card will say to us that we gonna we gonna make our boundaries we gonna try to protect what we what we have uh, protect with any possible ways so next deck we're gonna use the light seer tarot see what's this Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> uh, Six of Pentacles card of um, balance, energy balance, money balance. Uh, and it's a great card saying that it's another card of balance, by the way. Uh, yeah, so here's two of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. But judging by this card, you will manage to balance your finances finances kind of gonna come and gonna go so it's gonna be uh exchange of energy so money is uh, one of the energies so you're gonna receive money and you're also gonna spend it equally money comes money goes in out um <clears throat> but like I uh, say, you still, um, like I say, be careful with the big buys, big spends, um, or keep the receipts. Uh, and here, you also, it's good time to do some charity work, if, um, if you're capable. So, if you can, uh, you can help somebody in need, if not, <clears throat> uh, you can... Um, if you can't help financially, you can help any other way, some other way, uh, maybe with your time or in in any other way or form. Remember that for any good, one good deed, universe, universe will always pay us three times more. Of course, it's not always going to be money, maybe it's going to be in some um, opportunity or people we meet in our life. But is always to be kind and do good deeds. Uh, one more card from here. It's <clears throat> nine of swords. Nine of swords uh, <clears throat> will say that. Something gonna be bothering you. Something uh, gonna be on your mind, and something will give you worries. Um, and this, uh, these thoughts, um, maybe some regrets, maybe some <clears throat> uh, disappointment. Maybe you gonna be feeling. <clears throat> Um, unhappy about your decisions on your action, you're gonna regret about them. Um, it's a fear. It's a, gonna might give you nightmares. You might uh, have bad sleep because of this. Because these thoughts are gonna be on your mind. They're gonna be killing you. Um, and this card will say that you need to um, you need to get rid of them because you might you might go into depression. Well, we'll see what else. <clears throat> you you must find peace with yourself with your thoughts because only you putting them down there alone yourself and only you can get rid of them uh, 
<clears throat> oh, and we have here the high rank, the chariot. Uh, I think um, looks like you might be worried because chariot it's could be travel, uh, travel, vacation, moving, uh, moving house, moving countries. Um, this card is go ahead, go forward. Uh, you unstoppable, uh, and maybe this is that giving this worries. Maybe if you if you have planned um, vacation, travel, maybe it give you nightmares. Maybe you unsure about uh, about. Maybe you scared that something might go wrong. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. If you in the middle of uh, buying or moving the, or relocating the house, the country, and uh, the place where you live, this is might give you the nightmares. This is this might mm, worry you. I'm gonna take one more card for you, <clears throat> but I think you should be fine. You worry is no uh, for no reason. Mm. Because, like I said, the chariot, nothing, nothing stopping him on his way. Look, he got full steam ahead. Nobody can stop those horses. And he is in control. He is on the top of this carriage. He's not scared to fall from it. So, I don't think you should worry about um, uh, what thoughts you have in your head. <clears throat> And you have five of wands. Mm -hmm. What is it, is it all about? Uh, so, card, repeat yourself again. And again, it's maybe you have some disagreement with someone, some some dispute, and that and that's worry you. <clears throat> and this conflict is on is it's in your head. It's it's worrying you. Uh, but also, mm, please be careful with um, as a as a warning. <clears throat> be careful on the sun. Uh, be careful with mm, any I don't know flammables because this is this is everything to do with heat, fire, temperatures. Uh, plus we having a uh, retro mercury so uh, please uh, please be careful and speed uh, because this is uh, very active cards <clears throat> don't uh, don't speed up or I don't know uh, come I go on fire so please be careful with that Right, very interesting, um, very interesting um, reading for you. So, we'll ask the angels <clears throat> what do they suggest for us. And the angels suggest, let, let your past go. <clears throat> the burden of carting your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want the wanted or need it and it's now gone. Great advice. So I think <clears throat> whatever gives you nightmares, uh, if you had some dispute, some conflict with somebody, you should let it go. The advice from angels, let it go, it's gone. Uh, leave it in the past, leave it behind. Uh, very good, wise advice, I would say. And then asking nature, Oracle, we'll see. <clears throat> you are worth it. 
that's a great message. Whatever you um, worry about, uh, whatever happening in your life, remember you worth it. Uh, all the best in life. And even nature saying to you that you are worth it. But you just, just need to listen and believe in yourself. Well, Leos, I wish you all the best. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave any messages, leave any comments how uh, my readings working out for you. And I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time. Bye.